All right, Scott here with the Scotch Test Dummies. Uh, been a while since I shot a COVID taste bud comeback video. I should be on day, let's see, last Saturday was the 12th week. 7 times 12 is 84, and then two days, this is Monday. So day 86. <clears throat> I had COVID mid to late October. Lost my taste and smell completely. It's slowly been coming back. I get hints of things. Let's find out where we're at, though. So the last episode I did was a couple weeks ago. But then, I think two Saturdays ago, Bart and I did a live on a Saturday morning. <clears throat> and I had my wife pour me something blind, which is what's happened here. She's come in, uh, 400 whiskeys here. And uh, she has run of the room. She can pour whatever she wants. I don't know what it is. Uh, blue glue, blue Glen Cairn Copita glass. So I can't see the color. Nose, nothing yet. Absolutely nothing. Could be Sprite. Although there's not any Sprite in this room. Huh. I would, I would claim that it's just light. Light and citrusy, maybe. Huh. Not get anything else on the nose. And I can tell that's been what's hampering me, is my sense of smell. I'm getting more taste-wise but my smell is pretty much non-existent. No, faint fruits, faint tropicalness. Not that that's what it is, but that's what my senses are telling me. Let's go in for the taste. Mm. I can tell right away that was higher ABV. Woo! <coughs> Strong vanillas, oak, citrusy, just faint hints. Um does not feel peated, does feel maltish, in other words, not bourbon. Um, wow. And I don't even have my water with me. <coughs> I'm going to add a couple of drops in there because that was hot. <coughs> Ooh, still hot. <clears throat> that is. <clears throat> Boy, I'm not getting much on the palate though. But I mean, I can tell you, it's not peated. I don't get any sherry influence at all. Malty. Citrusy. Vanilla-y. I gotta add a little bit more water. Of course, I took way too big a sip both times. Woo! That's, it's gotta be um, one of the SMWSs. It could be Glenn Livet, um, Enigma. Could be Abelauer, Abuna, um, the uh, not the sherry cask finish. Alba, is that it? Abuna Alba. Hmm. 
Nose isn't giving anything away to me. I'll stick with, with single malt, scotch. No uh, sherry cask, no wine cask influencing, no peat. Um, Ex-bourbon cask. So let's find out what we got. Abelara Abuna Alba. Now I only said that because I see the bottle sitting up here. As, as I was scanning for high strength um, ex-bourbon cask whiskeys. So really a lucky guess. But I'm getting some notes, uh, enough to deduce, um, conclude, guess, put two and two together. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Salancha. Yeah.